Hey everybody, I'm back here with uh, St uh, Stephanie uh, Filkins, and she is the volunteer coordinator with Missoula Aging Services' um, Meals on Meals program. And you've been doing this since July. Um, it's great. And so, of course, you know, Missoula Aging Services, for those of you who don't know, it uh, promotes the dignity, independence, and health of Asian adults and those who care for them. Yeah. Good? <laughs> Almost. It's independence, dignity, and health. Right. <laughs> we always say, I dig health. I dig health. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, um, thanks for having me here. Yeah. And One of the things is that you're really pushing to get some more volunteers, some more drivers. Uh, meals on Wheels program is a great program that provides meals for people who are homebound. Yeah, definitely. Um, we always are looking for new drivers and people that want to get involved and kind of share our mission with our clients and get those nutritious meals out to people who are homebound and not able to um, maybe go to the store and get a meal for themselves. So um, a little bit about the Meals on Wheels program and how we operate is that there's on average about 250 clients per day that we serve um, Monday through Friday, of course, and then those clients are spread amongst 18 different routes. Um, so we have routes that cover the University District and Missoula proper all the way out to Frenchtown. Um, we have a route that a couple of days a week goes down to Lolo. Yeah, you have a couple so. of routes that go for the distance. Mm -hmm. So. Of course, you know, there's uh, there's two different avenues to the Meals on Wheels program is the mm -hmm. people who are driving and then, of course, people who want to take a part, be a part of getting meals from the Meals on Wheels program. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if I were to call, um, what number would I call and how would I get in contact with the agent services? Yeah. Um, so if you're interested in volunteering, there are a couple different avenues. You can go to our website, which is uh, MissoulaAgingServices.org, and we have a whole section on volunteering opportunities there. And if you want to call, um, the number is 728-7682. Nice. Yeah. So I call you up and be like, hey, I'm looking to become a driver. What, do I, what, what, what are some of the processes that I need to go through? Yeah, so we usually go through the initial application process. So you'll fill out some information about maybe why you want to volunteer, what programs you might be interested in helping out with. Um, once we get that information from you, we do an interview. And then if you say that you're specifically interested in Meals on Wheels, then we put you through a ride-along where you actually get to come in before committing to volunteering necessarily and kind of test the waters, see if it's something that you think you want to do. You get to ride with one of our seasoned veteran Meals on Wheels nice. volunteers and get to know exactly how the process works, and they are always really happy to show the ropes to new volunteers. And how important is that uh, personal contact with the people who are receiving the meals? Um, it's really important. Sometimes our clients, you never know, the driver might be the only other human that they encounter throughout yeah. the day. So um, it is, it's got a lot of community behind it and just helping your, your clients and getting, giving them some socialization that they might desperately be longing for. Yeah. So. Yeah. And of course, you know, like there are different types of uh, drivers. There's the designated drivers that are for particular days of the week. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, you have floaters, which are the true heroes of the Missoula, yeah. uh, Meals on Wheels programs. who are just like, oh, this person can't do it. They're, they're too busy. And then it's like, I'll be there. Yeah. Yeah, we have our drivers that have more permanent schedules. Maybe they do uh, once a week, twice a week, um, once a month. It's really pretty flexible if you decide you want to have a set schedule. And it's also really flexible if you decide you want to be a sub and just fill in where the need is as we go nice. month to month. So how are you feeling about the this year's uh, volunteers? Like, like, do you think you have enough? You always can use more. What do you think? I Right now, I feel pretty good about where we're sitting. Like you said, we can always use more. It's always nice to have a good team of subs even just to in the event that we have snowbirds that flee to go south for the winter or someone calls in kind of last minute. Um, so we're, our numbers are pretty good, but yeah, it's always nice to have kind of that group to pull from. Nice. Yeah. So once again, if you want to learn more information about the Missoula and Wheels programs or many other volunteer opportunities, you go to MissoulaAsianServices.org. You can also call them at... At 728-7682. Um, or stop into our office at 337 Stevens Avenue. We're just about a block south of the Orange Street Food Farm. Nice. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you, Scott. All right.